Hello. <clears throat> My name is still Timothy Trespass, and I am a human being who has been targeted for torture, human experimentation with Morgellons, nanotechnology, microwave remote neural monitoring, and uh, whatever this is that's killing us, mites, genetically modified uh, organisms. Well, regardless of all that, thank God I'm here for, I'm, I'm thanking God, I thank God for this moment, this breath, the fact that I can walk. You know, I have a lot to complain about. But I have a lot to be thankful for, and the focus sometimes gets uh, misdirected towards the negative rather than the positive. And, uh, it's difficult because you know there's so much stress and so much wrong and so many problems and sickness and trauma and drama and. You know, uh, gives them no quarter and all that shit. No friends, no family, no place, no nothing. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to talk about, I've forgotten already. <laughs> oh yeah, it was uh, outside of one's experience. Uh, as we know, when we examine the general public, uh, most people, have a range of experience that is culturally limited, geographically limited, financially limited, educationally and intelligence uh, limited, uh, etc., etc. Now, in trying to explain to somebody what is happening to you when you don't really know yourself, because it's outside of any real experience, they don't understand it because it's outside of their experience. And this model has been designed neurocognitively to provide the most cognitive dissonance upon ex explanation to people because it's so far outside of their experience and it includes so many uh, varied um, I'm sorry, buried, uh, yeah, what is that, the Last Supper? Can I have that, sir? Oh well, it was a nice little picture of the Last Supper. They're throwing it away and I wanted to know if I could have it. But it's a clock, so I don't need it. Anyway, uh, look at me trying to collect junk and I'm almost homeless. Um, this thing is so far out of the range of most people's experience that they get frightened and angry because their brain needs to resolve this. We've been all trained neurocognitively through the uh, Newtonian, or whatever you want to call it, science model, or whatever they call it, that, you know, cause and effect and uh, everything has a, a reason model. Um, and in fact, that's valid science if you include things that are outside of the range of normal physics like miracles or uh, the paranormal or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and um, anyway, so what's the point of all this? I don't know. I, I was just thinking that, that somehow, uh, some way, in order to make it more functional, more explainable. Oh, there's a whole happy doodly going on. In some way we could find things to compare this to that is inside the range of experience and therefore uh, get a reaction that more people understand, a uh, common reaction.
Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless you all.